Hey guys, and welcome back to Refactorissimo with a Roomba. How's it going, man? It's uh, it's going well. How are you? I'm it's been all a, right. It's been a little while. Yeah, well, we're like uh, four days or something. We've we're got a little. Beds. Yeah, yeah, we are. We've got a couple updates as well. Mhm. Mm um, one we've got radars on our little guys so that they actually stay. Yeah. Stay uh, showing so that they actually work now. Yeah, it's genius. It's exactly. I mean, it's amazing. Nexo's such a smart guy. I was, I was thinking, how cool would it be if these vehicles just had like a little three by three chunk grid around them, so you could, you know, not have to worry about that. And then he goes and does the implementation, loads up the, the thing, and it's exactly what I thought of without even saying anything about it. It's just, it's awesome. Yeah, he does the implementation. You know, nothing to do with me and him working on it. No, it's just no, just no. Nexo. You couldn't have been involved because it works. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Anyway, we have no fuel, uh, which means we have no carbon, which means we have no bebs. And you like your bebs, so... I do, but we need to, like... We need a bit of fuel to send the miners to go and get fuel. Remember yeah, the old gonna... days when you would just, like, shove a miner down? Yeah, I'm gonna drive down there and grab it, because I don't trust your programming. <laughs> but also, you did a lot of work between week between sessions again. Yeah, there's no miner down here, by the way. There so, should only be a miner down there. Yeah, there's nothing down here. This, this coal deposit that I'm at is empty. Oh, of course. Yes, of course. Of course. You're not surprised, because are you? Because the, uh... It'll be whatever the coal deposit number one is. Uh, shall we just drop, like, have you got any miners that you can just drop on it? No, I dumped all my stuff when I... What's going out? I need... Be there in a second. Steerotite, evidently. Whoop. I'm gonna pair myself off at of alien giblets. Oh, I'm lacking stone is the issue. Um, oh, no your... Your tile scanner that is supposed to remove such sections is not removing the coal that has nothing underneath it. Is that intended? That's fine, also... yeah. it, it starts just at the, the start. If that also makes a bunch sense. There's a bunch of trees that are marked that aren't real trees. Yeah, it starts at number one, and then just keeps going from there. Right, so I need stone. There you go. Right, I've dropped two miners on it, and as long as we don't give them different uh, things, the hauler will go and pick the stuff up. Okay, can you stand there for a second and at least get a couple hundred coal to bring back? Because we have, like, no power, no production whatsoever. Yeah, I was... <laughs> I picked up some coke, and I was using the coke. I've got a third one. Let's drop you as well. I guess I'm going to use these alien artifacts as fuel for the factory. I've got some coal. I've got like 600 node coal. Yeah, but this seems fun to burn these little pink things. Yeah, if you could go ahead and make some carbon dioxide, Mr. Liquefier, that'd be great. So, uh, we added as well two mods that I'm very, very excited about, one of which is called Gosh Darn It Water, uh, Hotkey, which does the exact thing I wanted, which is that you can just press a keybind and it will rotate the recipes, um, like, automatically. So, Shift, Shift R just switches the recipe around and it hides all the superfluous recipes now, which is just amazing. And then we also have a mod called Auto Barrel -er, or Auto Barreling or something, which there's a... A special entity. We may actually need to research it. Where does our coal get dropped off? Oh, at the Omni Depot. Yeah, Omni Depot now. It used to have its own spot up here, but eventually it just needs to make its way into this big warehouse uh, in the south area here. So, yeah. Um, so it, it doesn't hide the recipes, which I, I find to be rather annoying, but um, it'll just automatically bear up whatever fluid connects to it. Oh, you don't have a filter on the, the thing for coal? No. I was like, why is there Bob Bonium coming out? Oh, you just controlled your whole inventory into it? That's crazy. No, they, I didn't, it was like, there was a little bit of Bob Monium sitting in the, the thing. There should be a filter on the coal, like for the actual coal no, there feed wasn't. on the loader. Yeah, there wasn't. No, from the Omni smelter, there wasn't a, a filter on the loader. It's fine. Fixed it. I good. blame you. 
Yeah, probably a good idea. So, uh, we are going to focus on angels, right? A little bit less of the AI, yes. in theory. Of course, here's what's going to happen. You're going to paste in some blueprint that you made over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be like, look, see, it works. And then like 10 minutes later, I'm going to say, Stijo, it's not working. And then you're going to go disappear for a few days. Pretty and much. And I just won't see you anymore. Oh, this is my old IntelliHolo. Oh, that's sad. Was your old one stupid? It wasn't great. Um, yeah, it doesn't quite work. I know. <laughs> I mean, because I could have told the, you that. Yeah, the memory gets stuck. If uh, on like whatever's got the minimum, yeah, that's okay. I can I can just load up my my other one in the break between episodes. Oh, okay. So you imported the wrong one. I got you. Uh, no, I the thing that I imported was the the spiral scanner, and I'm not even going to pretend that it was mine because it's far too beautiful to be mine. Um, Someone else it was, made it. Nice. Yeah, it was a commentator, a comment commentator, comment commenter called uh, Joshua Johnson. See, I remembered your name this time instead of some guy. Uh, <laughs> and it is elegant as fuck. Is it is it built now? Is it the correct one that's loaded now? Uh, for the scanner, yeah, like the scanners. Okay, I want to see it. Okay, also, I saw uh, Irindel posted a comment saying that he's just upgraded the zone scanner to to just be this spirally type thing in Not fifteen anyway. <laughs> so, oh, did he actually? Yeah, didn't you say earlier this morning? You saw it, like you said. Oh no, that was just one of my commenters that was like, that was like, yeah, I didn't make an iterative scanner out of combinators. I just edited the mod to make it scan iter iteratively, and I was like, well, that just takes out all the fun. So oh. yeah, it's, it's this thing. It looks like it's freaking out just now, but that's only because it stopped. Okay. Um, yeah, so this basically scans in a spiral, and I can show you exactly how it does that. I need a, I need an X and Y that we don't really care about. Okay, seven hundred and fifty-three and uh, two hundred and seventy. Go. I think I'll go with negative one 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 negative sixty because it's like right here to our left, and we can see it. All right, whatever you say, boss. <laughs> So, okay. And negative 60. Okay, and I'll set this up so that... I'll set it up so that it's just uh, putting onto a controller. Alright, watch this. Like, watch this depot down here. Okay. Alright, sweet. How cool is that? That is really slick. So, how is it doing that and why? Um, it's basically, you can Why see the, stop? I turned it off. Oh. You can see the, oh my god. I'm you're specifying, rapidly. you're specifying the location, you've got zone vertical red, that's what you told it to mark. So this is marking or removing? Oh, or this, both? this is for the scanning. Like, I've, I've just got it set up so that it's marking. Um, and the vertical red is just so you could see it. Uh, so all you need to do is plug this into that. And that's it, it starts scanning. Okay. A1 feeds into the output side of B. Up here. Output B. Where is this red wire on the top here connected? Uh, what red wire on the top? This this guy here. Oh, to the, to the constant combinator. And to the this decider below us. Ah, uh, okay. The line was right over top of each other, so I couldn't tell. Mm. Okay, so if A is less than B, right, we do stuff to it. Output the input count of A, which is going to be, I assume A is in this case your X or Y, right? Like it's counting in a pattern or something. Once A this equals zero, I'll put B. Why is it B greater than less than four? Uh, because that makes it the, the text, the three, the four text for what direction it's to go in. Alright. So long story short, it works. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. That's about as deep as uh, I want to go into combinators right now, because I don't want to fall into the, uh, the yep. labyrinth. So, now that that's all plugged in, all I need to do is turn the this constant combinator off, and 
uh, if we connect. Well, you can see it's scanning through everything systematically now. But what I want to do is I want to go through. Um, I want to get a constant combinator. I just want to clear out all of the fucking markings that we've got just now and then start from a spiral. Me because too. Because that means that the early ones are going to be at the start. Like they're going to be closer to the base so that things aren't mm -hmm. just running around mental. So could you program this guy to just just dezone the entire map? It's a lot easier just doing it manually. So yeah. if I just select this to do zone diagonal left red, then it'll sit and go through all of them. I need a zone scanner though that to let me know when it's finished. Wait a second, you're sending a zone diagonal left red into a zone controller? What is that supposed to do? Oh shit, wrong one. Um, what I need is... Oh no, I was I was right. Oh my god, I'm such a bell end sometimes. Okay, so he's just playing, he's playing with AI easy. again. Yay! And I'm assuming you're still following that same format earlier where you're not actually connecting the uh... You're not using the, the electrical lines to ferry wires around? I just kind of spaced no, your wire, no. wires out a little bit. I want to make sure I didn't break it. I'm trying to clean this area up just a smidge if all possible. It needs to be pretty, Stejo. And yes, this disconnecting things from the power may break it, so make sure you connect things to the power and then disconnect. That's no fun. What if I don't want to do it that way? Then you'll probably break things. <laughs> Sounds fun. They only need power temporarily, come on, let's be realistic. It's not a sophisticated there was like machine. Over a thousand attack signals for the derps set up. Sounds like something you would do. That's crazy. You can see like the total queue or something right now. Yeah. Well, it's currently going down because I'm wiping everything right now. All right. Well, we need to focus in, I think, on angels and actually getting some like tech. So we can build better electrical poles and, you know, do some smelting and stuff. I think we need to stop worrying about Omni smelting and just set up some proper crushers again. We have some oil. We have some fluids. Uh, if we could do some tier 3 angels uh, refining, whatever you call it, we could potentially have a fair bit of sulfuric acid. There are things we could be doing right now. Okay. I'm going to just drive down to that coal depot because I still don't trust that you guys have actually, you know, done their job. I like how it uses red alien artifacts as a fuel source automatically. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of nice. So, you said, in theory, the hauler will go down here and haul stuff. We got three miners down here now. No haulers. Yeah, he's up at the sapphire just now. It's fine, I just picked up 10,000 coal. We're good for a moment. Okay. I am the hauler. Twenty-five thousand trees marked right now. That's quite a few. Yep. I think you may have let that guy run a little bit too long. That's not that. It's just there's a lot of fucking trees. Yeah. I wonder if we're even like, do we want to keep marking trees? No, I don't think so. I mean, worst case scenario, we just make a greenhouse, go from there. It was fun while it lasted. I agree, yeah. But, 
he's too derpy and getting the holler to go to him is a fucking nightmare. My guy's doing the moonwalk again. Fucking 7.4 UPS. I don't know why it does this. It has this weird, like, lag spike thing. Where every now and then it'll just drop to fucking no UPS. Yeah, I haven't been having that though. I wonder if it's a client side issue or if it's me hosting issue. I don't think so. I'm not uploading, are you? You're not accidentally nope. uploading to YouTube, are you? No. <laughs> We've both done that once or twice. Yep. Man, the game's not running well. I can't figure out why. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> My entire bandwidth is being consumed by the all encompassing uploader. So, you want to dive into some Angel's Fluid Mechanics again, Stijo? Yeah, when I, when I get my UPS back. That'll never happen. Sitting at 5 right now. Oh my god, really? We've got a whole 500 some plastic. Are you ready for this? It's crazy, isn't it? That's, that's a lot of plastic. 500... No. It's loads. Really not. It's like the best production I've ever seen. Okay, I am going to just do... That guy's done, that guy's done, I don't care about that stuff anymore. What the hell is with this, like, fucking no UPS? I really don't know, I... Not on my end. I'm still getting 58, 59 UPS at the moment. Oh my god, I opened up the production screen and now I can't get rid of it. Can you drop down to point like two five speed? Sure. Let's go, I got that. May take a while for my command to send through though. Oh point oh two five, you meant even slower. Yeah. yeah. All right, now back to regular. You show in the script updates what's causing all the issue? I'm only showing 5.4 script updates right now. Um, uh, it basically, whenever it does this, it just multiplies every script update. So it's like 42, 48 script updates, 50. It's like, yeah, bottlenecks using five script updates. It's not. Like, it's really not. Don't lie mm. to me like that. There we go. Now it's, it's pulled back now to 50 UPS. And now it's dropping back down. I don't know fucking understand it. I'm trying to go back to the non categorized organization and starting to I doubt think, it's wait, again. Is yeah? that the power just kicked back in? Literally just there? The, the power for the factory? No, we've had fuel. I brought 10,000 coal back in a little while ago. We've yeah, but is that to just like filtered through? Hmm, I don't know, I don't think so. I think we've had power running at full speed for a little while. Hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna accuse me of blasphemy if I build some electric mining drills? Yes. Cause that's blasphemous. Is it? Are you sure about that? Yeah. <sighs> What? You have no miner mining sapphirite, even though it's right in the center of our base. There's oh. sapphirite right in the center of our base. There should be a miner here. It's the closest location. Yeah, we're we're going through shit. Yeah. Mm. Mhm. Mm let's just let's just say I believe you. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna build a miner and just shove it on. No, I'm not. Cause I'm getting five UPS again. You're doing this to me, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm really not. It's intentional. I'm not C. Joe. I know you think I am, but I'm not. I'm currently moonwalking again. Oh. Done. Can't accuse me of nothing. You get it fixed? We've got minor mining sapphire, right? 
No, I get like I get these brief respites where I get fifty odd UPS, and then all of a sudden it's like no, 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 like down to five. But that is the end of the episode, so I can try and sort it out in the break. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right, see you in a bit.